If in meetings or lectures you find the multitasking of listening to and comprehending new ideas, asking questions and trying to make coherent notes of the most important stuff a bit of a challenge, you're in the right place. This time on Disboxing, we're going to take a look at how Sonicent's audio note taker can take a lot of the pain out of the note taking process. Now, if you're new to audio note taking, you probably want to take a look at our beginner's guide to audio note taking video, which you can find here or in the description below. But in a nutshell, audio note taking allows you to make enhanced audio files that you can annotate, color code and tailor the perfect multimedia reference tool. Now, as well as the desktop and mobile apps, Sonicent have created the Care System, which can allow you to get the best out of their software and the note-taking process as a whole. Capture, annotate, review and engage are the four stages that Sonicent recommend you should go through to create the most useful notes. Capture and annotate can both be done on the desktop and mobile, while review and engage are best suited to the desktop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture and annotate on the desktop application. So when I open up the software, I'm given quite a few options to create a new project. To record through the laptop's built-in mic, I select blank project. But you can also record from external mics, videos playing on your computer, Skype calls, or import audio recordings you've taken previously with another recording device. But we'll get into that in later videos. When I hit the record button, here you can see in the audio plane that my speech is represented by these audio chunks. As I stop and start talking, new audio chunks are created, a fresh chunk for each phrase. This visual representation of my audio is a really useful feature and allows me to work with audio in a similar way to how I'd work with text. As you record your meeting or lecture, you'll hear some information that's important, some that can be discarded and some that needs further research. Colour coding your audio chunks means that you can visually identify the kind of information you're looking at when you come back to your project. If you look over in the chunk section of the interface, you can see that by default, important information is highlighted in red, stuff to review in blue, task to complete in green, stuff you can delete in yellow, and summaries in black. There are a few other colour key templates which give you more relevant colour codes for different recording situations. To colour highlight audio chunks, simply click the highlight colour that's most relevant to the piece of information that you're hearing, or tap the number next to the colour code on your keyboard. So as I look at audio chunks as phrases, I also look at sections like paragraphs. When there's a change of subject or topic, or you just want a way to separate different bits of information, you can create a new section. Just hit the sections button or use the shortcut control and enter. Remember for this shortcut, you need to hold down the keys in this order. Before adding sections, I always find it useful to add the reference text plane. I usually use this section for headings. Now you've created your sections, you can start to label them. If you want to add more detailed notes to your audio, you can start to add bullet points. I usually do this in the text pane. There's also the option to add relevant images to the image pane. These can be slides that you've inserted before the lecture, screen grabs from the internet, or if you're using the mobile app, images you've captured from your phone's camera. You can also colour code sections in the same way that you colour audio chunks. The great thing about Sonison Audio Note Taker is nothing is set in stone, everything is changeable after the fact. You can change the colour of highlights, add or remove sections, reposition audio chunks, and add as much or as little text as you want all without affecting the recording. By the same standard, if you just want to be present in the meeting and add sections and headings and come back to do more detailed annotations later, that's cool too. So those are the basics of Capture and Annotate. Click on the link up here or in the description below to find our review and engage video. Also check out our tips and tricks videos which will be coming soon and we'll go a little bit more in depth into some of the techniques I've talked about today. While you're here, also check out our other assistive tech videos or download a free trial version of Sonison Audio Note Taker so you can try it out for yourself. But for now, I've been Sean Douglas, this is Disboxing and I'll see you next time.